Albania's Prime Minister Tuesday urged the EU to deliver on its promise to start membership talks with Tirana as the head of the European Commission said a June deadline would likely be missed. Eddie Rama said that after delivering reforms demanded by Brussels, in particular on justice and the rule of law, Albania had earned the right to start accession negotiations and he demanded the EU stick to a commitment made a year ago. I think that it's time for Europe to do what we expect after having delivered, to recognize our merit and to switch a green light for accession talks, Rama said after talks with European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker in Brussels. EU member states agreed in June 2018 that Albania and North Macedonia should be able to start formal talks to join the bloc in June this year, providing they carried out certain reforms. The Commission, the bloc's executive arm, last month reported that both countries had fulfilled the requirements and should be allowed to start talks, but a number of countries, notably France, Germany, Denmark and the Netherlands, are reluctant for talks to start. All 28 existing members have to give their agreement. Related slideshow, news and pictures provided by photo services. Kosovo President Hashem Thaci, R, poses with former U.S. President Bill Clinton, after awarding him the Order of Freedom Medal in Pristina, Kosovo, on June 11, 2019. The windshield of a car damaged by a hailstorm in Bavaria, Germany, on June 11, 2019. Emergency vehicles at the scene where a helicopter crash landed on the roof of a building in Midtown Manhattan in New York City, New York, U.S. on June 10, 2019. A man cleans his plants covered with volcanic ash from Mount Sinabung after the recent eruption in Karo, North Sumatra, Indonesia, on June 10, 2019. A man cools off his horse during a heatwave in Baghdad, Iraq, on June 10, 2019. Abdul Hafiz Sheikh, advisor to Prime Minister Imran Khan on finance, revenue and economic affairs, at a pre-budget press conference in Islamabad, Pakistan, on June 10, 2019. Sudanese soldiers stand guard a street in Khartoum on June 9, 2019. Sudanese police fired tear gas at protesters taking part in the first day of a civil disobedience campaign, called in the wake of a deadly crackdown on demonstrators. Iraq's President Bahram Saleh meets with German Foreign Minister Heiko Maas in Baghdad, Iraq, on June 8, 2019. Nepalese and Indian motorcyclists ride during the flag-off ceremony of a motorbike rally Red Panda Challenge at the eastern border with India in Kukurvita, Nepal, on June 8, 2019. France's finance minister Bruno Le Maire L. greets Canada's finance minister Bill Murnau prior to their bilateral meeting on the sideline of the G20 finance ministers and central bank. Governor's meeting in Fukuoka, Japan, on June 9, 2019. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, R, meets with Eritrean President Isaiah Zafwerki at the al Adhadia Palace in Cairo, Egypt, on June 8, 2019. Divers take part in the Zero Plastico or Die by Ocean and Coastal Cleanup in Bermeo, Spain, on June 8, 2019. Mexico's President Andrés Manuel López Obrador takes part in a unity rally to defend the dignity of Mexico and talk about the trade negotiations with the U.S. in Tijuana, Mexico, on June 8, 2019. Zineda Graciani, C., chairperson of the Party of Socialists, before voting in the election of the president of the Moldovan parliament in Chisinau, Moldova, on June 8, 2019. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi inspects the Guard of Honor during a welcome ceremony at Republic Square in Mail, Maldives, on June 8, 2019. Fishermen on the way to sea to catch fish early morning in Chittagong, Bangladesh, on June 8, 2019. U.S. soldiers take part in decisive strike military exercise in their camp at the Training Support Center Krivilak, Republic of North Macedonia, on June 8, 2019. Special Envoy for the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees Angelina Jolie speaks during a news conference with Colombia's President Ivan Duque Marquez in Cartagena, Colombia, on 
June 8, 2019. People visit Clifton Beach on the third and last day of the Muslim holiday of Eid al-Fitr in Karachi, Pakistan, on June 7, 2019. Plumes of smoke rise following Syrian government forces reported bombardment on the town of Khan Sheikhan in the southern countryside of Idlib province, Syria, on June 7, 2019. Minister for Europe and Foreign Affairs of Albania Gen Kikil is welcomed by European Union Foreign Policy Chief Federica Mogherini ahead of a meeting at the European Commission in Brussels, Belgium, on June 7, 2019. MiG-29 jet fighters of the Strazi, Swifts, and Su-30 jet fighters of the Rusky of Ityazi, Russian Knights aerobatic teams perform during a rehearsal for an air show, part of the Russian all-Army Competition AVIADARTS-2019, with the monument to soldier and sailor seen in the foreground, in the Black Seaport of Sevastopol, Crimea, on June 7, 2019. This long exposure photograph shows the Milky Way in the sky above Mandalay, central Myanmar, early on June 8, 2019. Oil workers hold hands and pray during a hunger strike, which started on May 30, at the Plaza de la Moneda Square to demand the government the payment of labor liabilities in Caracas, Venezuela, on June 7, 2019. Nigel Farage, the leader of Britain's Brexit Party, poses for photographers before delivering a letter asking for the Brexit Party to be included in Brexit negotiations with the European Union in London, England, on June 7, 2019. Ilmars Rimsevics, Latvia's central bank governor, who is awaiting trial after being charged with accepting a bribe, speaks at a news conference in Riga, Latvia, on June 7, 2019. This image shows the main entrance to the Entrepreneurship Department building at Kumasi Technical University in Kumasi, Ghana, on June 7, 2019, where two Canadian women, who were abducted on June 4 at a golf club, had been attending classes. Children enjoy a ride during Eid al-Fitr celebrations in the Fad Hill neighborhood of Baghdad, Iraq, on June 7, 2019. A man looks at the smoke coming out from a chemical in a cloth warehouse after a fire broke out, in Kolkata, India, on June 8, 2019. A floating crane on the Danube River arrives next to the Margate Bridge to take part in operations to hoist the submerged boat following an accident in Budapest, Hungary, on June 7, 2019. Boys dive into the Sardaria River during hot and humid weather in Charsada, Pakistan, on June 7, 2019. Slovakia's Prime Minister Peter Pellegrini makes remarks at the plenary session during the 2019 St. Petersburg International Economic Forum in St. Petersburg, Russia, on June 7, 2019. Confederation of African Football CAF building is seen in Cairo, Egypt, on June 6, 2019. It is reported the president of the Confederation of African Football, Ahmad Ahmad, was detained in Paris, France, over allegation of corruption. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov L. and Kenya's Foreign Minister Monica Duma meet for talks on the sidelines of the 2019 St. Petersburg International Economic Forum in St. Petersburg, Russia, on June 7, 2019. Ugandan Army officers from the UPDF Engineers Brigade construct a two-bedroom house at Bunambuti Resettlement Project in Bulambuli District, Uganda, on June 7, 2019. Migrants from India, Bangladesh and Pakistan queue to register for a permission to cross the country at the Mexican Commission for Refugee Assistance, Comar, in Tapachula, Mexico, on June 7, 2019. Venezuelan Socialist Party leader Diosdado Cabello salutes at the end of a press conference at the Jose Marti International Airport in Havana, Cuba, on June 7, 2019. Khalid al Fala, Minister of Energy, Industry and Mineral Resources of Saudi Arabia, speaks at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum in St. Petersburg, Russia, on June 7, 2019. The newly elected members of the United Nations Security Council pose for a group photo in the Security Council chambers at the United Nations headquarters in New York City, New York, U.S. 
on June 7, 2019. Pictured L.R. St. Vincent and the Grenadines Prime Minister Ralph Gonsalves, Nigerian Foreign Minister Kala Ankorau, Estonian President Kirsty Kaldulade, Tunisian Foreign Minister Kimes Jinawi and Vietnamese Deputy Foreign Minister La Hoi Trung. European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker L. is welcomed by Croatian Prime Minister Andrei Plenković with an official welcoming ceremony in Zagreb, Croatia, on June 7, 2019. Cardinal George Pell leaves the Supreme Court of Victoria in Melbourne, Australia, on June 5, 2019. He has served three months of a six-year conviction for sexually assaulting two choir boys. The 77-year-old was found guilty on December 11, 2018, in Melbourne's county court. Muslims attend Eid al-Fitr mass prayer at El Sedek Mosque, in Cairo, Egypt, on June 5, 2019. Firefighters on duty on the A5, following an accident, in Karlsruhe, Germany, on June 5, 2019. After 13 years of trying to join the EU, Rama has warned that patience is wearing thin in Albania and he called on the bloc to recognize the country's place in Europe. I want to say very simply that the EU should act geostrategically, geopolitically and should act based on the merit of the countries. If the countries deserve it, the EU should not deny it. Last week, North Macedonian Prime Minister Zoran Zaev warned that delaying the start of talks could topple his government and usher in nationalist, anti-EU forces. Junka, who has repeatedly given his backing to starting talks with the two countries, said it was not mission impossible to win round reluctant EU states but poured cold water on hopes of getting approval this month. I'm not focusing on June because there are parliaments which have to approve, they are not in session in June so it could be later, he said. But my conviction is that we have to make it very crystal clear that the moment has come to open negotiations with Albania. Overshadowing Rama's trip to Brussels was political drama at home, where his ruling Socialist Party said they would launch a process to oust President Ilir Meta after he moved the cancel. Local elections. Rama refused to comment on the crisis but Junka insisted the polls should go ahead. I'm in favor that these elections should take place. If not, this would harm the European perspective of Albania, Junka said.